Uh-huh. Nikki, he stopped by Jacobs Road Elementary in Chesterfield for a visit yesterday and checked the second graders out. Some even got to give their own forecast. Nikki D says they talked about the importance of learning and how adults use the skills they learn in school in their daily jobs. She says she is forecasting a bright future for this. <laughs> you know, that's a good point because when you're in school, you're like, when am I going to use exactly. this? Exactly. And we use it all the time. So much. I was telling them I use math every single mm -hmm. day and I was explaining to them the importance of just a few degrees difference in the way yes. of temperature as far as things falling from the sky, mm -hmm. how they can melt, they can refreeze. Right. So of course, right. snow was a big topic again. Of course it was. You know what they told me though? Their scientific method is sleeping with their pajamas inside out, flushing, of course, the, of the <laughs> ice cubes down the toilet, and sleeping with a spoon under their pillow. They all said they did it last night, but I asked them nicely not to. Not to. So I appreciate the ones that didn't because <laughs> y'all look at this. We got rain this morning. I know y'all love going to school because y'all got some amazing teachers. A big thank you to having me out there. That's my last school visit until baby girl arrives. But make sure that you get on the list. We're going to be going back out this fall and winter. When it comes to your rain chances, yes, they are in the forecast. They're happening right now. We'll see a lull around lunch. So if you do head out for recess, it's not going to be raining on you but it's still going to be wet after school after work. More rain is coming in, making for a very soggy dinner. Not one to have outside. Plus, it's going to stay pretty cool, but I've got details on a warm and bright Saturday coming up. Guys. All right. Thanks. Good evening. Well